Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. This is Jamma Serpentine Dream. Um, what I have here is one of my hatchlings from one of my clutches. Uh, he was born missing an eye. Um, as you can see, there's no socket, no anything. He has a slight deformity on his jaw. Nothing major, but it is there. Um, he's a bumblebee. Uh, possible leopard. He has some spotting and stuff here and there. Um, but I created the triple. He doesn't look much like him, but you see his pattern and stuff is uh, very reduced. Tons of little spotting all over him, so it's actually very unique looking. Um, he doesn't want to eat on his own. At least not yet. Um, I can't assist feed him, and he will eat. Uh, he does have uh, some neurological issues. Um, could be part of the spider, but it also could just be that he, uh, he apparently did not develop correctly. So, uh, but he goes to the bathroom, uh, he'll, he will eat once assisted, hoping he'll start on his own. So, for this video, I'm going to try to assist feeding, um, just for anyone who, who might need help doing that or hasn't done that before. Uh, I'm going to try to do this with uh, with filming and I'm by myself right now so this should be kind of interesting he's sticking to my hands so I'll uh, try to get him to a better position here and, and we'll start the process all right I've got a hold of him here um, just kind of right there behind the head just so he can't can't get away and we'll try to get the pinky in here Get him to open his mouth, just kind of pushing on the top of his lip, trying to get him to open. Come on, no, there you go. There you go. Now I just got to get him convinced that he actually wants it. Alright, he's uh, trying to decide if he wants to get away, if he actually wants to eat it. A lot of times he'll try to throw it out of his mouth, but if you give him a minute, he'll generally start to eat it. Nope, nope, that's a no-go. Alright, let's give it another go here. Try a little bit of a smaller one. Once you get him convinced he needs to eat, he uh, surely does a pretty good job. If you can get it hooked on a tooth, it gives you a little better odds too that he can't get it out of his mouth as easy. I think he might have got that one hooked pretty decent. We'll see how it goes. Once we get one started, uh, we can just stick another one right in there while he's eating. And you can generally get a couple of many. He's got a very good temper. Uh, he's really cool looking. I mean, his pattern, he's got all these spots all over his pattern. Just really, really cool looking. Oh, he's actually going to start eating now. He does this weird neurological kind of spider thing when he starts to eat um, but he's actually starting to eat now so this is this is good this is what we wanted it looks really painful when this guy eats he gets in all kinds of weird little neurological kind of positions so like I said once you get him to start eating he's really good I'm hoping that eventually he'll start eating on his own um, he can go to the bathroom fine he behaves fine um, just does not like to eat on his own and once he gets this one most of the way down we'll, uh, we'll stick another one in there and he'll generally continue to eat But yeah, this is uh, you know, part of breeding ball pythons. Not every baby is more than 100% healthy. This one has some issues. Um, but I don't, you know, also just want to put it down or anything. Give it a chance. See if it can survive. And he's definitely trying. Like I said, he'll eat uh, if you assist feed him. So. And hopefully it'll continue here in a second. There we go. 
and he'll move position once he uh, gets ready to take it down a lot further normally. Yeah, he's real interesting to watch eat, that's for sure. He's uh, different from any of my other snakes. Trying not to miss my opportunity to put another one in there. Barely got that one in there in time. Hopefully it goes ahead and swallows it. Got a little bit off center there. But it looks like he's still interested, so... Seems like he really doesn't have the urge to eat, but then once you get him started, then he's, he, you know, it's like it triggers that he realizes that he's hungry and he needs to eat. Definitely working on it. It's taking you a minute. Look what it is right now. He's just he's working the other one down. So he's just kind of holding on to that one until he's ready to start eating it. He's got the other one worked most of the way down. Now you can kind of see the lump. Sometimes he'll do that, and sometimes he'll uh, he'll just chain them right one after another after another. Well, like I said, hopefully he'll uh, he'll eventually start eating on his own, and we won't have to do this anymore. That's my that's my goal with him anyway. He's a he's a very neat snake. I mean, his his colors and everything are so he just has a really really interesting reduced spotty pattern. Um, like I said, he's definitely a bumblebee, uh, pastel spider. Could be some leopard or, or kind of some spots and stuff that has a hint of leopard, um, but not sure he doesn't. You know, he looks completely different from my uh, mother three gene that I did make. Um, but then again, it looks different from the bumblebees I make too. Uh, I think it's just all part of the process uh, of how you know everything that kind of happened when he was still in the egg. Uh, 
Looks like he's finally decided to really start trying to put that second one down. Anyway, I'm not going to make this like a 30 minute long video. Because uh, the way he's going, it might take that long. But I still got two more. I'm going to try to feed him. Um, put a nice, uh, you know, three, at least three, if not four, pinks in him. Um, and we'll try again here in a, about a week or so. See if we can't get him to eat some food on his own. Uh, if he doesn't, then uh, we'll repeat this process again. Anyway, just thought I'd shed the light on, you know, some stuff that does go wrong when you're breeding. Uh, not every egg's perf perfect, and uh, some that do hatch out um, can have problems. So, but as long as this guy's trying to trying to pull through, I'll uh, I'll keep uh, sis feeding. All right, guys, here he is. Um, he's finishing up his fourth one now. Figure I would, uh, you know, cut out, do a little time lapse maybe on it just to. So you guys have to sit there and watch him uh, try to put down four. It takes him a while to eat. Um, you see when I first got him out, he was looking a little skinny. Definitely needed some food. Putting his fourth one down now. He's nice and plump. So most snakes will, uh, you know, most of them seem to take off eating pretty good on their own. Every once in a while you get one to where if you assist feed it once or twice, it'll generally take off on its own. Uh, this is his fourth time of uh, me assist feeding him. So he uh, he's uh, kind of slow on uh, picking it up. As you can see, once you get him started, he'll uh, he'll just keep gulping them down. Like I said, he put down four pinkies. Um, and it's right now, like I said, his fourth assist feed. It's been about a week and a half between each feed. Um, I try to offer him food a couple times. If he doesn't. Uh, he doesn't eat after the second time, um, then I'll, uh, you know, it's time to do an assist feed again. Uh, so I want to keep him healthy. Also want him to uh, put on a little bit of weight. Um, hoping as he matures a little bit, gets some meals in him, that he'll uh, he'll decide one day that he wants to surprise me and start eating on his own. Uh, Cause like I said, as far as his attitude, his temperament. He's a great snake. He's not scared of me. Uh, he can touch his head, all kinds of stuff. So, yep, there we go. Like I said, he got his he got his fourth mill down. He's all nice and plump now. Doesn't look all skinny like he did at the beginning of the video. But uh, hopefully, he continues to uh, to thrive, and uh, we'll see where it goes from here. But anyway, uh, please like and subscribe. If you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, leave them below. I try to. I try to reply to everybody, and uh, hope everyone's having a, a great start of the uh, breeding season, and uh, I'll see you next time.